Welcome all future citizens of the Republic of the Golden Coast. I have settled on a name. It is Golden Coast instead of Gold Coast. That's the name now. Now we're done. Now, on to the bigger news, because I have a lot to talk about. I have finally created a form of government that our nation will use once we have infrastructure and a permanent population. This will be a two this will be a two branch form of government. The first branch will be the Council of the People, the second will be the Court of Justice. Now, the first branch, the Council of People, will have 10 members. These members will be elected via a preferential voting system, and the candidate who scores number one on the preferential voting system, which means he is most liked by most people, will become the president of the council. Now, the Council of Justice, what they do, they vote, in, they vote on laws. They create laws, they write laws, they vote on laws. Now, they vote on laws, regulations, all of that. Now, the president has a few special powers. For instance, if they tie, which means five council members vote one way, five vote the other, it is the, it is the president's vote that decides whether the bill is passed or not. The president also is the head of state and has a few other powers which I will get into in a video all of its own. That's the main that's the main one though, the president's head of state. Okay. Also the president makes is the one who selects appointments for the court of justice and then the council votes on them to approve them. Yeah. Moving on to the how the Court of Justice works. The Court of Justice is made up of seven judges. These judges, they take, since we all have a very small population, these judges take every court case and decide how it is ruled. There is no jury here. It is the judges who decide everything. Who's guilty? Everyone is guilty to till proven innocent. But the judges decide if you are guilty, if you are innocent, uh, who wins lawsuits, simple things such as that. Yeah. Now the court of now each justice they cannot be fired. This is very important. The United States also has something like this. They cannot be fired. They are for life. And we do this simply so that there's absolutely no conflict of interest between the judges. Anyways, that will be the form of government. I think it's going to work great once we get there. Of course, it's it's basically it's essentially a form it's a, it's for a, what's it called? it's representative democracy. However, it's built for a smaller population, which we will have. Moving on, we have finally found a currency for our nation. This is actually not something I had been thinking about a whole lot, but I was offered by the Principality of Lewinstein. Lewinstein? I, I'm very sorry, I cannot really pronounce your name, but he has been great. He has been working within the Micronational Assembly. He is the new MA chairman, so that's good. And yeah. We will now be using what the Micronational Assembly is creating as a essentially a it's kind of a version of the Euro except for Micronations. It is called the Unum. I think I'm pronouncing this right. It might be pronounced Unum, but I think it's Unum because it's U N U M. Unum, right? So we'll, we will be using the Unum. We will receive a shipment of it once it is created. Uh, I asked about an estimate for that. Uh, Lu, the Principality of Lewinstein, Lewinstein, Lewinstein said two weeks to a month. Most likely is how long it will take to be created. I do apologize for my voice. I am actually a little sick right now. Anyways... So now that we have a currency, what we really need to do is set up an economy. 
So that got me thinking about what exactly can our nation import and export? Well, first off, our trade would mostly be with other micronations. However, there are some that are not too far off to essentially ship things to and from. However, in my last video, I got suggestions saying that I should export wood for my micronation. I don't think I'll do that because okay, I'm going to chop down I'm going to chop down a couple trees just to make space so I can build certain infrastructure things. However, I don't want to chop down too many trees and there aren't that many trees to chop down. It's very it's a very densely forested area. However, a lot of it is mangroves which despite uh, well, I don't want to remove mangroves because they are a federal part of the ecosystem. Also, they are impossible to chop down. Those things are hard to get out. Uh, I will chop down a few trees, but most of that wood will stay within the country because it needs to be used for building shelters and fires and all sorts of different things. So we can't really be exporting wood. So what can we export? Well, I thought once we get more advanced and have internet and such, we could try exporting softwares and video games. And, you know, because online exports for small nations are very useful and they can work very well to make a nation money. However, in the meantime, because we don't have that sort of infrastructure set up yet in order to allow that, our main export will probably be fish. Because we live on the water that is where the Republic of the Golden Coast is it's on the water and there are quite a lot of fish that live in the water that our nation is on for instance there are snapper there are mangrove snapper there lots of mangrove snapper you have snook in the area tarpon are also there grunts aren't as good but they show up uh, I believe the fish is called Pompeii Pompeys. I forget exactly what they're called, but you can catch those there sometime. Basically, there's just a great variety of different fish that you can catch within the waters. And I think fish will be our main export for the time being. Now, another update is I wish to purchase a boat to be used by our government. It will be used for fishing purposes, exporting and importing and all sorts of and just simply patrolling the waters, many different things. Now, as of right now, we actually have open borders. You can come in as much as you want. Uh I don't think the US is stopping you from going out and that's our only neighbor, so, you know. So, we actually have open borders at the moment, so feel free to come on in come on down check out the situation now also I am also looking for funding in order to build a shelter now I don't want to start like a go I don't want to start like a patreon or something maybe once I'm bigger I will in order to receive funding but I don't want to do that at the moment however I don't have a population to tax so basically the government will be fishing and then selling the fish and that will be how we are currently making money for our nation also golf balls which what is happening is our nation is right next to a golf course and what people do they'll hit the golf balls out of the golf course into the water and then we can collect the golf balls in and resell them of course where they come from will be open we're not gonna act like they're brand new but these golf balls, they're in perfect shape. So we can also make money off golf balls, which is quite funny, actually. Another thing is I'm considering opening a P.O. box. Again, this is one of those things I didn't really want to do until I was kind of bigger in terms of support for the nation. But if, there are any, if anybody wants to send me some stuff and would like a P.O. box to be opened... Please let me know. Anyways, guys, well, before I end it, there's one more thing I want to talk about, and that 
is our flag. I am considering changing the flag as I think the current one is kind of bright, but we do live in a bright nation, so you know. Anyways, tell me what you think about changing the flag, if I should consider doing it. Tell me if you think I should open a P.O. box. Tell me what you think about us using Unum as the currency, and tell me what you think about the new form of government, as long as ideas about imports and exports. Thank you all so much for watching. See you next time.